Returning to that breaking news now, two police officers have been shot in El Monte and their conditions are unknown. We do know the suspect is down. Joining us now is Dave Avla. He's a retired LAPD pilot and we talked to him many, many times during uh, breaking news. Dave, thanks for being with us this evening. I have a question for you. In terms of the officers sure. being transported by fellow officers, tell me more about that. And is this unusual or not? Uh, it's not an all calls pad, but I have seen it before. It happened in Hollenbeck Division where we had an officer that was uh, shot. And I know the officers that picked him up and put him in the back of the black and white. They went code three to the emergency. So now th this does happen. And it's because the officers, uh, of course, this comes out as an officer help, officer need, down type call. The world, and what that means is that every unit in the vicinity and even outside is going to respond, and some will respond code three because that's the worst case scenario. Any officer can hear. But when something like this happens, you get on scene and you see two of your fellow officers down on the ground and they're, they need medical attention. You'll render whatever medical uh, insight you have and and stop the bleeding the tourniquet that sort of thing you learn this sort of stuff in the academy you know mm -hmm. it uh, some may be uh e past the mts or whatever medical field hopefully they'll load them up and of course they'll just go code three to the nearest emergency room well that's great i mean that that's talking about uh life-saving uh, measure at that particular point now when you, you said sometimes they will hear a call and if they're nearby or they, they will answer the call this, in fact, said two officers were down. I would think that this would probably add even more immediacy. And in fact, Dave, there is a, a, a lot yet to be known about exactly what happened here. Yeah, exactly, Pat. And there's nothing I can really get into because uh, I, you know, just from what I've heard, it stuff would just be at this point speculation. And of course, mm -hmm. none of us can do that. But uh, I'm just referring to uh, responding to an officer needs help call officer down, uh, that's when you roll up there. In fact, as an air unit, uh, one of the concerns we used to have about an officer down call is that needing an egress uh, for the RA unit, if one was responding, because so many black and whites show up, every officer is, that's in anywhere close to this is gonna respond code three, like I had mentioned. Mm -hmm. And sometimes what that'll do is that'll block the street with black and whites and other type of police units. But in this case, uh, these officers that responded felt that there was no time to wait. You know, so they, mm -hmm. what they did is they rendered whatever medical attention they could on these officers. Uh, and like I had mentioned, whether it be a compression pad or a uh, tourniquet, anything of that sort. And then they just decided we got to get them, he or her, to the hospital, and we got to do it right now. We don't have time to wait. Yeah, that, that's a huge decision. It's on the spot. And like I said, your, your adrenaline's pumping. Uh, you want to save these officers. And then plus you wait for other units. And from, I understand that the suspect is down. So you got to have somebody to respond to the um, suspect also. And you know what? Just want to reiterate what you said, that you learned this at the academy. You learn basic um, emergency um, medical services to uh, apply to, I, I suppose, anyone. Yeah, I mean, they, they do, they do uh, um, you know, classes on that sort of thing. I was kind of lucky because I was an EMT even mm -hmm. way back when, before people even knew what they were. And then in the, in the service, uh, we did more training. And then in the academy, of course, you get the basics on, on what to do. So, I mean, it, uh, it, it's different for every officer. you got a lot of veterans out there that are wartime veterans, mm -hmm. and they know what it's like to be on, uh, on a shooting scene. So they, they know how to apply this. They, there's just so many of our veterans that are out there that went into law enforcement. All right, well, uh, at this particular juncture, I know the families of uh, these officers are certainly glad that they did and they, that they responded to the call. So Dave, thank you so much for joining me um, this evening, evening and giving us some insight as to what happens when officers respond to their own and transport them to the nearest facility. And of course, we'll have more on this breaking news story we're following and we'll be back after this.